hello guys and we are now live. Yan. So, thank you so much again sa mga nanonood ngayon ng live and ang dami ng comments. <laughs> we have a lot of comments here on this live thread. So, you can check it under this video. Yan. Today, we're going to talk about the disadvantages of working from home. So, when you're working from home, it's, it's not only all good. So, there are also disadvantages too in working from home. So, thank you for the people who put in the disadvantages in the comments. So, we have... I'm seeing comments from Alan and Eloisa and Janet. So I think the other comments would show up after this Facebook Live, just like with the previous Facebook Live that we have. And uh, we're giving away free virtual assistant training, free work from home training in this Facebook Lives. So if you have any friends or family members who would like to work from home, uh, invite them to join our Facebook group. That's Work From Home, Be Awesome. So they could also watch the Facebook Lives. And if you have any questions about working from home or topic suggestions that you want us to discuss about working from home, about being a virtual assistant, about WordPress or anything, please comment them below this Facebook Live video or you can also make a new post here in our Facebook group. And I will, our admins will approve your post. Siyempre, we don't approve spam. Yan. So for my disadvantages of working from home, there. so the number one disadvantage for me is you need to pay for your uh, SSS, PhilHealth, uh, Pag-ibig, and healthcare by yourself. So, that's the biggest disadvantage for me because you'll need to go through a whole lot of lines. So, SSS, PhilHealth, Pag-ibig, they have long lines if you need to update, for example, from being employed to self-employed or being a voluntary member. So you need to update your membership with them, with those three companies or government entities there. So you need to do it yourself. And then uh, you don't have your employer or an employer to do it for you anymore. So you need to pay them yourself. They have deadlines. And then if you miss the deadline, there are penalties. So usually what I recommend is you pay it for a whole year. Para after that, wala ka na nga alalahanin there. And then uh, health maintenance organization. We had free H. I had free HMO before with my previous company because it was a BPO company. So now that I'm working from home, I'm working for myself, I needed to find an HMO company that is cost-effective, not that expensive if you get it individually because usually HMOs are expensive. Uh, the, usually, HMO companies are expensive if you get it individually. So, I really needed to do a lot of research in order to find that right HMO company that I can sign up individually for myself and also for my family, for my two kids there. And then, if you want to know more about the HMO company, you can comment below so we can make another Facebook Live or webinar about it. And number two is, uh, it's a good thing that you don't have a schedule, but that also means that you need to be disciplined. You need to have discipline to make sure that you work when you need to work. So, Sometimes it's it's great to watch TV because right now while I'm working, I, I'm also watching, for example, Netflix 
and um, right now I'm I'm watching the Shark Tank series, so I could get business ideas from that. So, but make sure that you don't forget to work. Yeah, there. So I recommend that you have a schedule for working. So usually. I'm talking with my clients and I'm also working around um, 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. because the house is quiet and nobody bothers me during those times. So I find myself uh, more effective during those times. So I recommend that you find a schedule for yourself too. When you're working from home, uh, a definite schedule on when you will do actual work and not just watch Netflix there. Or, for example, if, if it's helpful for you, you can also go to co-working spaces. But I really, don't, uh, I really don't enjoy going outside of the house, so that's why I enjoy working from home. So I just work here at my space in our living room. So if that works for you, uh, I would also recommend you have your own desk where nobody else can use it, only you can use it. So that would be like your home office or your home desk there. So that's it. I, I only have a desk here and in front of me is the TV and our sofas there. And then another disadvantage is... Uh, <laughs> What what me and Eloisa were talking about in the comments under this live video, like the the no legal day, the no bad day. So sometimes when when you're working, you get uh, engrossed in your work and you forget to take a bath. <laughs> so I need to remember to take a bath every day when I'm working from home. Right now, I usually take a bath during the night time. Yeah, because if it's if it's not that hot, I usually forget to take a bath because it's cold. Especially if it's cold, I I intentionally forget it. <laughs> there. So those are the the top my top three disadvantages of working from home. So let me know in the comments below. What are the disadvantages for you if you agree or disagree with the disadvantages there? And I also invite you to our Facebook Live slash webinar on Friday. So the main hosts there will be me, Mary Ann, and Eloisa. Hello. So I think Eloisa's here there. So uh we will also have my other students from the Work From Home Be Awesome Elite program, the mentorship program that I have. And we will talk about how we started working from home. So the good thing about that is that the webinar will also be converted into a podcast. Yay! So we will be launching the first episode of our podcast there on Friday. I think it's 9 p.m. I scheduled it for 9 p.m. here. So you can watch it live here in our Facebook group, Work From Home, Be Awesome. And we will also be uploading it on my website as a podcast. And when we reach three episodes, Hopefully, we'll also upload it on iTunes there. So, later, we'll also ask you to follow our podcast there. So, thank you so much, everyone who watched live. And thank you so much to, to people who will be watching the replay. So, see you again on uh, Friday in our Facebook Live slash webinar. Bye-bye. Thank you, guys.